Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hello, everyone! Today we are going to be playing Saints Row the Third. One of my favourite games when I was younger. I remember playing through the co op campaign with my mate Tom. I wonder how he's doing. I haven't spoken to him since I was about 13, probably. Tom, if you're out there somewhere, I, ho I hope you're doing well. If you've been a viewer of the channel for a couple months, you might remember me making a video on Saints Row 2, and it was called I Made an Absolute Monstrosity on Saints Row 2. We're basically just going to do the same thing again on Saints Row 3. Ah, I miss Saints Row so much, man. I can't wait for Saints Row 5. I'm sure there was some sort of leak or rumour recently, wasn't there? Or, or even a confirmation that there was a Saints Row 5 in development. Reminds me of being at school. Cool. You hope you see the Batman Dark Knight looks different, doesn't it? Plot twist. The bank robbers become the robbed. Cool. <laughs> Forgot that that happened. Kind of similar to the opening of Saints Row 2 where you break out of prison. This time you're just breaking into somewhere rather than out of somewhere. You're still murdering a bunch of people though. Who are you? What? Do you, do you want a signature? Yeah, sure. In the middle of a bank robbery, but yeah, you, you can have a signature. Now get out of here, you little scram, you. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? We're playing Siege. They're repelling in, we're playing Siege! This ain't the Saints Roll, this is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege! And here we go! We get out of here with the vault attached to the helicopter, we look like a badass, we murder innocent SWAT people. I can't kill them all! Appreciate that kind of negativity. Yeah, <laughs> you clearly you don't know me. Can't kill them all, can't kill them all! Have you seen how easy this stuff is for me in videos? You think I can't kill them all? I will escape with this vault and I will do it in style. Turn yourself so I think after all this time of being in a gang, after all this time of building up the Saints, they're just gonna say, turn yourself in, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. The gig's up, guys. They've asked me to turn myself in. Here we go, I'm going in. I'm on the verge of my biggest bank heist ever, having a record of about 5,000 murders. But you know what? They asked me to turn myself in. I'm going in. The moment that I've been waiting for. Character customization. <laughs> I look like Barney the dinosaur. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll have that bikini tan with the shorts. Got that darker purple skin. That's what all the women like. Sex appeal. Well, I mean, if we're going for Barney the dinosaur, the sex appeal has to be a 100. <laughs> I'm starting to get jealous of him. Oh, God. Please don't look to the side again. Your eyeball pops out the socket. It looks like them fuckboys on TikTok that suck their cheeks in to try and look more attractive. <laughs> Just giving him the tiniest mouth you've ever seen in your life. Come on, chin's quite impressive, actually. You could hold him by that. Like, you could grab him by the chin. If he falls off a tall building, don't grab his hand to save him. Grab his chin. Come on, darling, I'm ready to go. Okay, honey, just a minute. I'm getting my hair ready. You know what? I think we're going to go with cornrows because white guys with cornrows may be a crime, but aliens with cornrows? <laughs> oh, my God. If you have like that, it just looks like a growth coming out of his skin. Yeah, I kind of like that. As a little callback to the Saints Row 2 video, we'll have a little tiny moustache as well. Yeah, I feel like we should put some makeup on him. It might fix him. It might make him a little bit more accepted by humanity. So, is this too much? <laughs> I think that we should go with zombie because it's the only thing that really fits him. I mean, you look at this guy. Do you really think that this is a human? <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one. The nature boy. <laughs> That's what Ric Flair be looking like nowadays anyway, so we might as well go with it. I'm pretty happy with the decision that I've made. Let's do this thing. What happened? We got arrested and I had a dramatic transformation. Which is precisely why our employer wishes to speak with you. I mean, if you can understand me, then yeah, go for it. Go, have, a, have a conversation with me. Oh, here we go. It's booning off. Oh no, everything's going to be sucked out of the plane. I'm going to go back to my home planet. I'm going. Don't worry, I'm going. I'm going back to my home planet. Why would you take me on in the fist fight, you absolute psychopaths? Did I just get... I just, oh, okay. No, I, 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 she got caught in the clatter, all right? I didn't mean to knock her out. Excuse me. You're, you're looking the wrong way. I don't know how you're looking the wrong way. It's not hard to miss me. <laughs> because I got face paint on, I just constantly have the same expression. <laughs> what are you doing? Why am I so important that you have to attack me while I'm midair? Can a man not just skydive in peace? I'm just not touching any controls at all and I'm missing everything. Don't worry, girl. I got you. How did I fit in that window shield? The size of me. I need to drop a couple pounds before I'm fitting in that window shield. I reckon health and safety might have something to say about us having fights in midair. I mean, I don't know for sure, but this seems a little dangerous if you ask me. Hello, ladies. You like what you see? Eh? You like what you see? <laughs> Withdraw one million dollars. Oh, yes. Hey, guys. What you doing? Yeah. We, uh, we doing drugs. Excuse me for driving on the right side of the road, which is the left. So it expresses some emotion. It's not just the same moans and groans over and over again. They're in different pitches and different tones. You know when he's sad and when he's happy. I might not be human, but I still have emotions. Just upgraded my gun. Let's test it out. 
Nice, not too bad. Ah, police, what are you doing? I thought we were allowed to do this in America. We're allowed to shoot guns, aren't we? It's my independence. Leave me alone. I can shoot my gun. Salvaging car stereos and sex dolls from the debris. Ah, yes. Just getting the essentials then. <laughs> I pressed E to bail out and she bailed out way before me. She's got a lot more balls than I do. I waited until we got to the soft grass. She just yeeted herself and went for it. Why do I need to shoot them? Can't I just go in there and show them my face? Surely they'd all just run away. Abandoning your followers. Well, hurry up then. What is, what does, what's she doing? Hurry up. I'm not abandoning anyone. Come on. The game says I'm abandoning you. Hurry up. Get in here. Where did you go? Oh, oh okay. She teleported behind me. Oh, that's fine. That's fine by me. You can use your teleportation all you like. <laughs> I just glide down because of my body weight, because of my mass, because of my alien nature. I could just glide through the air like a majestic seal. Excuse me, sir. Where are you going? So where are you going? What are you actually doing? What is your what is your mission here? What is your your objective? Oh. Wait, is that that's friendly helicopters, isn't it? Oh Christ, yeah, wrong ones. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the massive missile firing into the helicopter. I'm glad it's a strong helicopter. Oh, I can control this one. Oh, we're going right in the gunner seat. Hello. Get up close and personal with my targets before I eliminate them. Excuse me, sir. Amazon delivery for you. Being real though, how long is it before Amazon starts doing this? They fly planes or satellites or drones or whatever in the sky and they just drop packages from it. Shooty, shooty, die, die, helicopter. <laughs> Well, I mean, sorry, I've spent more time up in the air than I have on the fucking floor in the last 40 minutes. Tell me some slack. I'm a foreigner to this world, and being a leader of a gang, it's difficult for me, all right? Nobody ever thinks about me and my role. It's all about the saints. No, yeah. It's never about, it's never about, um, what's my character's name? Uh... Shit. It's never about Vlad, is it? Yeah, Vlad. We're calling Vlad. It's never about Vlad, is it? No one ever stops to ask, is Vlad okay? Maybe Vlad isn't okay. Do you want to park us on the roof? Because if I get out now, I'm, I'm definitely going to die. You're worried about real estate? We have guns. Let's use them. Yeah, but, but guns isn't going to get us real estate, though, is it? That's not how you get on the property ladder. You don't just walk in to the estate agents and be like, Oh, you're right, guys, yeah. I mean, I'm no expert, but at least I think that's not how it's done anyway. Holy Christ! It said I had some TF2 masks. I didn't expect them to be this big. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the fucking size of it. What are you talking about? This is just my normal head. My normal head and my normal day. Getting on with my normal day with my normal size head. Be a massive inconvenience if your head was this big. You'd be bashing it into everything. As much as I enjoyed the mask, I, I want to see this beautiful face all the time. I think the first order of business, now I've got access to the open world, is go and get some clothes because we look nice and professional right now. That's not how we want to look, ever. I'll be using this. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Greetings. Oh, wait. Shit, that's not how you greet people in the human world, is it? Sorry, this is what we do where I come from. It's how you greet everyone. Run them over with a motorcycle. Specifically a motorcycle, not a car. That's just rude. Oh, I'm not too sure what's going on on the radio right now. This isn't the kind of radio that I listen to during my time. I mean, then again, I don't listen to the radio because the radio is whack. Oh, and it's a Saints clothes shop as well. I better get a discount in here. I own this. I own this joint. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a new outfit, but I'm not quite sure what I want. Have you got anything that would match my beautiful face? All right, I'll be putting in a complaint with your manager. Astro A40 headset. <laughs> yes. Well, you know what? I take back what I said. This is quite a good store because they've molded the glasses to my fucked up face. That's quite good, that is. Not many stores give me this kind of service. Finally, after all this time, I can wear glasses. I just love clothing that matches my skin color. Yeah, you know what? Get them legs out, boy. This is Earth. This isn't your alien planet. Show what your mama gave you. Now this... This right here is what I'm talking about. I am the most non-binary, unidentified being on this planet. Am I male? Am I female? I don't know. Am I alien? Am I human? I don't know. Am I a saint? Yeah, definitely saint because, I mean, like, well, just look at my colour. I've taken being a saint to a whole other level. I've, I've even got my body that colour. Why the did I get police on me? What have I done wrong? I just drove past them. Ah, I know what it is, actually. It's for looking this fabulous. It's against the law. Are you laughing at me? You're laughing at me because I crashed my bike. You're laughing at me because I crashed my bike. Laugh at this, bitch! Bitch! <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? Let's find a rim jobs and get it cleaned up. All right, let's go get a rim job. You know what? I take pride in that. That was quite skillful. I managed to crash into the car, kill whoever is in the car, and hit two civilians. All right, I'm ready for my rim job. Oh, what? What? What, what is this? This isn't the rim job I was expecting. I just blew all my money on the torque and the tire durability. <laughs> ah, yes. This new torque that I spent $3,000 on feels fan fantastic. Really glad I did this. We need some driving music. Driving music? What do you mean? No, don't switch the station. Don't get me copyrighted, man. I didn't think I needed any clothing, but on second thought, I definitely needed some new clothing. Look at these booties, boy. What? What? 
What the fuck do you think you're doing? Who, who are you? What are you doing? How can you even fit in the door frame? How are you bigger than me? I thought I was the biggest guy in Steelport. Naughty brute. Bad brute. Bad. Bad. Brute. Stop. Stop that right now or we'll have to go home. All right? We will go home. I will drive this car back home, all right? If you don't stop behaving like that. I'm just going to nick one of their cars. Oh, oh, my geezer got run over. <laughs> you're right, mate. Yeah, I know your leg's backwards. You'll be all right. Don't worry. What, what did you do to my car? Why is there... Why am I... Why is a police officer and a gang member getting in the car together? Police and other gang working together, question mark? I can't believe I've just found this out. Being so sneaky and snow ninja-like, they can't see me on top of the car. So they have no idea I'm here. They have no idea I'm spying on them. This police unit and this gang, they are working together to take down the saints. We will not be having it. Where will we go from here? What will happen in the world of Vlad? Tune into the next episode of Saints Row 3, Vlad's Adventures, to find out what happens. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more Saints Row, I'd be very happy to play some more. Subscribe if you're new around here and you enjoy the content. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video. I really appreciate you all being here. It means a lot to me watching all the way to the end. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a lovely day, lads and ladies, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.